Hello, uh, this is a video to teach you how to use sdf.org with your web browser at https, S standing for security, colon forward slash forward slash ssh.sdf.org. As you notice, it says here gate one Debian. And we are now at the uh, website as indicated, and you will see in about a couple minutes a gate one entrance to the server. We are connected by SSH, and basically just read the prompt. Uh, you don't need to put anything here, just enter in once. We are new, so we're going to type new. Hit enter. Please read. Don't do anything else but hit the return or enter key. Takes a second. We're logging into a computer now and it says login. We're going to type new. This activates the server at SDF to create an account for us. Make sure you read through everything. Hit the backspace key as indicated read through this information. You're about to make a Unix account when you're finished reading. Hit enter. What are you going to use as your user log and name? I've done this so many times. I'm going to use SBS 22A Unix. And Unix is um, case sensitive. So make sure you recognize that you are using capital letters or not. Hit enter when you've typed in your login name. Read the policy. Type yes or Y for yes and hit enter. Hit enter. We're in. Um, like I mentioned in the tutorial, you probably don't want to use your too much of a personal name, but I'm going to go ahead and just use my first name just to make it simple. Go ahead and add your zip code in. Um, I'm just going to make one up. You could always hit your backspace if you make a mistake. I'm saying yes because I am a faculty. You should too as a student, please. Not an amateur radio operator. No, you don't use DSL. This isn't for games, so say no. Maybe in the future, just make a new account. Again, if you're visually or uh, audibly um, impaired, click yes so you can get those features. But I'm not, so I'm going to click no. And when it asks you, where did you hear about F, uh, SDF, or just say uh, Indy Chisholm, Barstow College, Unix course. Learn to use Unix commands. That's what I want to learn out of this. And make sure you finish this. I haven't made. I haven't finished making the account here. So what we got to do here is uh, make sure yes, we want to do the account. And you can copy and save in your browser. So you want to make sure you uh, take account of your username. Copy and paste it. New password. I'm going to add a password in. It'll probably ask you twice. You won't see it make a mistake it's going to ask you to redo it again once twice it's negotiating hit continue to finish on and you can see here this is uh, now your username. Uh, we're going to type in the password that you just did. I have to 
with the backspace. Oops, I didn't hit the enter. But this basically says how many servers that SDF has up. It's uh, They're all dedicated for different reasons. Uh, basic users and shells are probably going to go on the Pharaoh server. Just hit enter for continue. This is just some information again about how many users are on the servers. Uh, it looks like uh, just about a little over 400 and maybe 20 people are using this right now. Uh, these are just messages from other users. You can leave a message if you want. Um, notice down here you can start to type help and other commands right now, right here at the prompt. This here is our prompt. And uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a fun little finger <laughs> command. If you read the lecture, you know why I'm laughing. Okay, um, this this concludes the tutorial really quick on how to use a web browser to log into sdf.org. Thanks. Make sure you contact me if you have trouble. Signing out, Wendy Chisholm.